What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video. My name is Charlie and before we get into today's uh, Battle Villa, the refresh happened, uh, we're going to go ahead and do... Eh, we'll do a Milotic single sync pair scout. See if we get lucky with this. Uh, let's see. We do not get lucky with this. That's fine. It's fine. It's not like I'm I'm jaded at all right now. <laughs> because of, uh, as I'm sure most of you, uh, I've seen a lot of you guys in the, uh, in like the Facebook groups and stuff like that saying you've dropped... I, I personally dropped 10k on my Lodic and uh, Wallace and did not get him. Uh, and I've seen you guys drop a lot too and not get him either. And then I've seen some of you guys get him like on your second or third single pull. Like, you guys got lucky, man. Alright, so today we are going to be going through... Battle Villa with free-to-play units, so obviously this is not going to be the team that we're going to use, because Charizard is there. Oh, uh, let's see here, we might have to build one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build one. We'll use these as a starting point, we'll edit. Uh, let's see here. We'll go ahead, we're in the four-star range, so we'll go ahead and bring in... Oh, that's right, because Pikachu's on the team. Okay, so instead of bringing in Blastoise, we'll go ahead and bring in Mewtwo. I'll show you true power. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this is a completely free-to-play team. Um, Mew is free, Giovanni and Mewtwo, obviously free for the legendary event. You can max them out all the way. And, of course, the uh, player in Pikachu. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll do a drink. All right, now's mm. my time to shine. Definitely take off auto. Alright, so we'll do the Thunderbolt. You can do it. Go ahead and take out the middle first, I guess. Yeah, why not? Now this is a decent free-to-play team as well because Mewtwo is a very good striker. Uh, Mew and uh, Pikachu are both uh, can take care of themselves as far as like Mew's really good for being able to self-heal uh, with first aid four. It can be a bit of a tank uh, for the team, and uh, we also have. Pikachu who can use potion, so he's a very good support unit, as well as a decent, I'd say a decent striker, not the best in the game, of course, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, so for the water types, we'll go ahead and hit the edit button, and we'll bring in, uh, we'll go to the four star, all the way down, we'll bring in uh, Blastoise. Now, we'll change up the, the electric type stuff to uh, water. Boom. And boom. And you know what? We'll bring in the, uh, the attack one uh, to water as well. You know, that one's not fully maxed out. It should be fine. Uh, because the other two don't use physical attacks, they use special attacks. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. So, of course, the main unit that we're going to be using is Blastoise for this one. I'll show you how it's Blastoise done. is another free-to-play unit. You get him from, uh... If you guys didn't get him from an egg, uh, which one did you use? Uh, or which one did you get? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Also, like and subscribe. <laughs> To never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters content. Uh, and if you guys haven't checked out, I do um, uh, sync grid builds for pretty much every level of... Uh, like every sync level that you have with a, a sync pair. 
I do a video uh, where I explain every possible sync grid, or at least the best ones that I think of, uh, for each sync level. So it doesn't matter if you have one copy or f all five copies maxed out. I do a sync uh, a sync grid for each one. All right, so Mew's doing pretty good right now, being able to tank uh, these low-level guys. One Hydro Pump should be able to take this out. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> a truly intense fight. A truly intense fight. Alright. So we have 15 days to complete 30 levels. Or er, 30 halls, rather. So that means you have to do at least 2 halls a day. Uh, every day. So the more halls you can get done in a day, uh, obviously the better chances you have. Let's see here, what are we week two when it comes to this? Okay, so these guys use ground, dragon, rock, and rock. They're weak to ice types. I think Mewtwo would be more than efficient for this, so we'll go ahead and switch uh, our stuff over to psychic types. Which I don't know if we have them fully maxed out. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. I've been working on the gear lately uh, because I've been slacking off on it, really. Alright. So, with the gear maxed out, which is also free to do, you just have to grind, uh, we should be able to do a lot of damage with Mewtwo without using uh, Nowhere to Hide. Eh, more or less. Now. He's doing a decent amount. Go. I don't want to use any of the uh, of, of those things do yet, it. the support moves, uh, because I'm waiting to be able to do that for um, the boss fights. I want to be able to get to get at least get to the the. Uh, do it the semi-boss. Oh, come on. He got his sink move off. I don't think it'll do too much. Yeah, it didn't do too much. Okay. Still sitting in a good spot, I believe. Do I'll do it. another confusion. That should do it for him. Alright. Yeah, Mew's trapped. That's fine. You can do it. And we'll go ahead and end it with a bubble beam. That should... No? Okay. Well, Mewtwo's uh, sync move will definitely take him out. Boom. There we go. Something went wrong. Again, completely free to play this entire Battle Villa uh, run through. Uh, so if you're if you're free to play, you don't have Charizard, you don't have uh, some of the better uh, five stars in the game. You can follow me along through this Battle Villa uh, run-through, and you'll be able to see how, uh, with free-to-play units, you'll be able to beat uh, Battle Villa uh, before the days, uh, before the uh, uh, time limits for the, for the event's done. Uh, so there's no need to for people to get uh, really crazy about it because hey, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. So who are we going to fight first? Water and electric types. But we can't have the player on the team at the same time with both of them. So... What we'll do is we'll bring in Pikachu. Nope. We'll bring in Pikachu. Right there. Boom. Alright. We'll go ahead and keep the uh, psychic type gear on uh, to keep Mewtwo and Mew powered up. Uh, because uh, since they're already going to be weak to electric, uh, P 
Pikachu's not gonna need the extra boost, really. Especially since it's the first boss, like, they're not gonna be too difficult here. We'll see how much one Thunderbolt does. Okay, that's a decent amount. Mew, of course, is being able to take all the damage. So yeah, two Thunderbolts and these guys are gonna be down. Again, and I'm not using the... Uh, because we're not taking that much damage, I'm not going to use the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, the support moves yet, uh, because I'm going to save those for the boss battles. Alright, let's see here. Let's take out the side so that all we have to deal with is the middle. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then this one we'll go ahead and do Mewtwo Sync Move. This shouldn't do too much damage to Mew and the team. Yeah, see? Not too bad. We could use a potion on Mew. Um, but, uh, and we would most likely get the uh, MP refresh for it, but there's really no need right now. You really want to do that after uh, Mew uses its uh, first aid four. Now. Boom. Okay, so it's gonna take a few hits here. It's gonna take a few hits. That that's fine. We'll go ahead and let the move gauge uh, regen a little bit more. Oh yeah, it's now. got Giga Drain. It's gonna be able to regain a little bit of health. Now. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Alright, so that was the first five halls completely free to play. Uh, not the hardest stages in the world, as you know, but definitely uh, worth uh, being able to study what sync pair to bring for which level. Or, sorry, here's the first five. <laughs> so, this is the boss, that was the semi boss. Alright, uh, so let's check this out. So who do we got? So the first one's going to be all ice types, then all water types, then electric. Okay. So this is what we'll do. We'll bring in Blastoise. Yeah, we'll bring in Blastoise. There he is at the very top. Boom. Okay. Alright, we'll bring in Blastoise with Mew and Mewtwo. We'll use Mewtwo as our main striker. Do, 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 do. We'll see. We'll also use Mew as a, the, with the Swift to be able to damage all the units. Boom. And we'll throw a Psychic. Like Garchomp. Okay, so now we'll, we will start using our support uh, moves. So there's Garchomp. By the way, Cynthia is coming back in a couple days. If you have not gotten Garchomp, definitely get Garchomp. I, be I believe it's a Poke Fair. Uh, that's what I've read. Again, nothing can ever be 100% confirmed until it's actually live in the game. Oh, I should have used Hydro Pump there. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's use Hydro Pump. It's going to use its sync move. Okay. We'll use World of Dreams. Hydro Pump. Another World of Dreams. Another Hydro Pump. Uh, Uh, but yeah, so Garchomp is going to be great on a, uh, essentially, uh, a Sandstorm team with 
Um, a Sandstorm team with uh, Steelix when Steelix comes out, and uh, Polisand, because Polisand is the only one, uh, the only sync pair in the game right now that has Sandstorm. Alright, looks like Mew is definitely taking some damage here. Let's go ahead and do as much damage with... Uh, Mewtwo as we can. And then we'll bring in uh, Pikachu with the next team. Alright, Blastoise is down, that's fine. Again, I wanted to get... I wanted to at least beat... Uh, Hall 5 in the first go around. Uh, the further we can go, the better. Do it. Cool, 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 cool. Now these guys should be pretty easily. Pretty easily taken care of. Alright, and then this one we'll use the sync move for. There we go. And that should take him out, and that should be... Hall 5. Alright, so that's the first five halls. Completely free to play. We did lose Blastoise. Uh, but that's fine. He served his purpose. He's he's pretty decent. Uh, I, I wish they would have given them their Mega Evolutions, but I'm pretty sure they're saving the, the Mega Evolutions for... Like the Cygnus suit blue and uh, Cygnus suit uh, green. Uh, let's see here. We'll do Vigor Treats. Because we, we'll use these uh, towards the end of the halls. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to need them. Because now it goes all the way up to Hall 30. Which is nuts. Alright. Hall 6. We've got Dragon. Flying types. And, uh, what was it? Poison types. Alright. Let's build out our team. Okay. Alright, so to replace Blastoise, uh, we're going to go ahead and put up, hmm, well since it's the dragon types, so we'll go ahead and put up uh, Claire and Kingdra. Fine. I suppose I can help you out. <laughs> uh, let's see here, who's another good? Um, that's what we'll do for right now. We'll go ahead and switch our psychic types to dragon. And they're not fully maxed out, but they'll do enough damage uh, for Kingdra. 
Now remember, dragon types are weak against other dragon types, so Kingdra is going to be our best attacker for this, plus our biggest liability for this. But that's where you have bulk units uh, for um, Battle Villa. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do this. Let's see how much one Draco Meteor does. Alright, so we'll need to do some special attack ups. We won't be able to get to the next uh, semi-boss yet, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna get, hopefully, at least beat this one, maybe the next one, and then we'll see where we're at. Let's do a Draco Meteor. Boom, got him. Alright, so another couple of Draco Meteors. Uh, hopefully we'll survive that. Yeah, okay, cool. And one more and we'll be able to get the sink off. Put your back into it. So we'll go ahead and take him out with the sink. Move. There we go. Oh, he survived. Not for long. There you go. Ah. Cool. And a couple of dragon breaths should take care of these guys. Do, 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 do. Uh, so yeah, so about bulk stat stuff. Um, so bulk stat is really going to be used for Battle Villa from now on. Uh, because in the regular uh, like training and events and stuff like that, you'll be able to use... Uh, the tactics to, to where you can determine uh, which sync pair gets targeted first, second, and third. Uh, so bulk stat pretty much goes out the window for normal stuff and events, but for um, uh, Battle Villa, it's still a very, very important stat to keep, keep track of. Alright, so... Go ahead and edit. We'll bring in. Uh, ooh, who's a good flying type? Uh, we'll do Swana. She's uh, free to play. You can count on and uh, because Swana's uh, sync grid is coming out soon, the expanded sync grid, I've been working on the flying type uh, gear. Still not 100% done with it all. But it does... We are getting up there with it, which is nice. Alright. Again, we're going to keep Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, let's see, who are we going up against here? So we got Grass-type attacks and a Fighting-type attack. Okay. Alright, Swana. So we'll see how good you are before your Sync Grid. Because apparently after the sync grid, like uh, she's going to be very much like a another a flying type version of Pikachu apparently, because she has potion. Uh, but uh, she's going to like I'll I'll do one of my uh, sync grid videos for. Her. Uh, I've got it planned out. I'm just gonna film it probably uh, today. And have it up by the end of today, if not tomorrow. Go on, get in the there we go. Yeah. Because she is insane. Steelix, however, is also insane. <laughs> Steelix is going to be Garchomp's best friend, man. Like, again, that, that, that Sandstorm team is going to be a very deadly combination to have for, for everybody. Alright, we'll go ahead and do a potion. There we go. And we'll see how much her uh, sync move does against the main here. Let's see, is it gonna do eh, it alright, I guess? What's Take Flight do? Shovelers, Defense, Raw, Alley, Sync Bears. That's good. We'll use that. There we go. Low sweep. Yeah, sorry, man. I'm not really going to do too much against Psychic types over here. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's see what Mewtwo will do for this. Alright, we'll go ahead and use a potion on Mewtwo. Alright, let's see... Because she's just not putting out as much damage as I would like her to put out. I don't know what her her stats are off the top of my head, but I know they're not they're not great as far as like a striker or anything like that. Uh, she's definitely going to be more of a support unit uh, with her sync grid. Go on, get in the groove. All right, we'll do Mewtwo's psychic. Oh no, Mew's finally done. Do it's fine, because, again, we have Pikachu to come in. Alright, there we go. That's gonna take him out. I got too ambitious. A truly intense fight. A truly intense fight. Alright, not too bad. I'd say we're doing fairly well for all free-to-play units. Again, the free-to-play units are not bad by any stretch of the imagination, guys. Like, for anyone that thinks that, like, you can just go ahead and get that out of your head completely. Alright, poison types. Um, I don't like the... I don't like the damage output for any of the poison types, so we aren't going to use a poison type. Again, we'll go ahead and bring in Pikachu. He's on the four star. There we go. Boom. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we'll keep Skyla and Swana because I believe we still have a potion that we can use for uh, Mewtwo. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and switch out the flying type gear for the psychic type gear. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see here. Boop. Nope. There it is. Alright, psychic type. And because it's maxed out, uh, Pikachu and Swana will get... Uh, if, if they're not the type that the gear is boosting, they get half of what the gear uh, number is. So for like... Oh, we can do tactics here. Okay. Uh, let's see. So never mind. All that stuff I said about bulk stat being important for <laughs> Battle Villa is... Pff, never mind. Alright, so we'll have... Yeah. Just like that. Okay. That's better. Sorry guys, it's late. I'm tired. I have to film most of these at night because of uh, uh, the job that I do. Alright, so we have this set up so that Mewtwo is going to be our main striker with Skyla and uh, Swana and Pikachu being our support units. I'll show you my favorite Pokemon. Okay, you do that. Do it. Use jump start. Oh, she doesn't have the potion. I used the last potion. That's fine. She's just gonna be there to take hits. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, we'll go ahead and use psychic there. Get the jump starts up. Get Mewtwo's uh, health up. Boom. Just like that. Alright. So we're just going to be doing uh, as much damage as we can with Psychic until our team goes down. And then I think we'll have maybe one more full team, because we still have Kingdred to go through. Alright, we'll go ahead and use a potion on Skyla, just to keep her in the game to take a few more hits with. Go ahead and get our Sync move off with Mewtwo. Boom. Alright. If we can take out the middle, that would be great. Uh, because that would leave just the weaker sides for us to contend with later on. Uh, we'll 
we'll go ahead and do another potion for Skyla. There we go. Alright. Now it's just about... None of these guys have a, have a move gauge refresh, which sucks, so you have to wait for... Uh... I don't know. That's super effective against Mewtwo. And we're out of potions. And Mewtwo can't take hits. <laughs> oh no. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Uh, maybe another hit? Alright, so Confusion should take him out. No, okay. And Pikachu's down too. I was hoping for the unyielding uh, to be able to help out Pikachu, but, you know. Ooh, that got a lot of damage. Alright. Well, that's going to be it for this team. So we'll bring in the very last team. No, no, no. I think we... Because we've only used... Blastoise went down. These two went down. I don't know. We'll see. I, lo I lost track. Alright, so we'll edit. Bring in... Claire. I suppose I can help you. We'll bring in... Um, hmm. Who should we bring in next? Uh, we'll bring in uh, Karina and Lucario. Karina also getting a a Sync Grid expansion, uh, so she's going to be extremely good. Like she's going to be the best fighting type in the game. Um, who's another free to play? I know who's another free to play. Let's see here. I think we just bumped her up to four star as well. Is she down here? Yep, there she is. Boom. This is going to be our team, man. We'll go ahead and bring in the dragon type uh, gear. Now, for this particular build, Iris and Haxorus is going to be our main attackers. Uh, because we do have their sync grid. Uh, filled out a little not to its fully maxed out potential I did do a sync grid uh, video for uh, Iris and Haxorus as well uh, feel free to check that out um, actually I'll leave a link for it up here there you go alright let's go ahead and do this uh, we'll go ahead and, oh yeah let's figure out who are Number one's gonna be. Number one's gonna be you. Alright. And two, yes. So that's all we need to do. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, this is easily. We, we have Lesson Confusion 7, I believe, on Haxorus. Uh, which the Lesson Confusions are actually the better. Um, uh, uh, lucky uh, skill to have for uh, Haxorus because of its uh, sync grid uh, you actually are able to power up your attacks while being confused uh, so with clear uh, minded or clear headed you actually don't get confused at all so you don't get that extra little power up that you would normally get with uh, having like Lesson Confusion 9, which as you can see is working out for us pretty well. And Lucario is just taking all the damage over here. Go ahead and use Outrage. We'll see how much damage this does. Decent amount. Uh, let's see if that takes him out. No? Okay. So Lucario might be going down right now. Yep. That's fine. We'll be able to get into the next hall. And do some damage there, which is nice. <laughs> Not you, Karina. <laughs> Not yet. Your time will come. Alright, 15 uh, three-star uh, 
level uh, manual manual level ups uh, items. Blah, can't talk right now. Okay, so you're getting into the semi boss, Lyra. Let's go ahead and add in. <sighs> Who should we add in? Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and add in... I know who we'll add in. Let's see. Are they on the 5-star team? I think they're 5-star. Are they 3-star? I didn't see them in the 4-star range. Yep, there it is. Boom. We'll bring in Erica and Vileplume. Now, why are we bringing in Erica and Vileplume? They're very good for uh, defense. Uh, they're, they're a good bulk unit. Uh, tank unit as well. Uh, so let's see here. So Claire's the only one that's going to have a real weakness uh, to the guys that we're going up against. All right. Let's do it. Again, Haxorus is going to be our main striker. Erica and Vileplume. We'll do X Special Defend. You're going down. X Special Defend. We'll do an Outrage. Uh, raise a Special Attack. Raise a... Okay, yeah. That's good. So you can keep raising your... Um, uh, defense with uh, your defense and special defense with Erica and Vileplume. I just don't have their uh, sync grid filled out for uh, yet. Oh, this would have been great for. Uh, we'll go ahead and focus on. Well, we'll do the sync move. Uh, against uh, Conkler, and then we'll focus on the uh, sides since they are weak to Dragon uh, before they take out uh, Erica and Vileplume. So pretty close to one hits. So we'll do an X attack. So it looks like Erica's down. Claire's next on the chopping block. Uh, come on. Do the hit. Boom. One hit knockout. Let's do Outrage. Yeah, there goes Claire. If we are able to get the sides knocked out, that would be fantastic. Boom. Alright, so he's going to use Swift. Does he kill? He kills. Okay. I'll see if we have another team that we can use. I don't know if we're completely out of Sync Pairs to use. Because uh, I would really like to take out that last side and uh, be done with it. <laughs> Alright, so let's edit. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're done, done. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're done, done. Alright, guys, well, we did pretty, we did much better than I thought we would do in the first round. We got up to the, what is that, the second one? Yeah, so we got to the second semi-boss. Uh, we'll see what we can do in the next... Uh, Battle Villa episode, uh, but if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Masters content. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Later.